my study, the study that I'm presenting at ABCC this year, is about uh, how cardiometabolic diseases prior to cancer can affect the cancer stage of diagnosis and understanding how participants or individuals with type 2 diabetes or cardiovascular diseases behave regarding participation in cancer screening programs. So for this study, we use the EPIC cord, which is a large multicentric prospective cord that involves general population uh, of participants aged between between 35 and 70 years old, and we identified incident localized and metastatic cancer, as well as those individuals with um, cardiovascular diseases, type 2 diabetes, or both diseases prior to cancer. Then we conducted adjusted multivariable logistic regression models to estimate the odd ratios of developing or, or of being diagnosed with a metastatic cancer compared to a localized cancer, according to the presence of pre-existing cardiometabolic diseases. So the results of our study suggested that individuals with type 2 diabetes were more likely to be diagnosed with a metastatic cancer not included in population-based screening programs which means that they were more likely to be diagnosed with a cancer, which is not neither breast cancer or colorectal cancer. On the other hand, we found no associations for screenable cancers, which means that individuals with type 2 diabetes were less likely to be diagnosed with a metastatic cancer, uh, such as breast or colorectal cancers. The results of our study have some implications for public health. For example, they um, reinforce the need to include participants or individuals with type 2 diabetes in population-based screening programs, as well as to pay special attention to individuals with uh, cardiometabolic diseases, because it means that these individuals might have more risk or a higher risk of developing metastatic cancer. In addition, our results show that it's important to improve the coordination between primary care and diagnosis, diagnosis care participants or centers. Mm -hmm.